What's up folks, Chomp McD's and Things here and I'm gonna do a little review video, sort of an unboxing after the fact of the JTS M12 AR that I bought from Academy Sports. Let's get to it. All right, so uh, first thing you're gonna notice is I've done a few mods. Well, not really mods, but I've already added quite a few things to my shotgun. I know it looks like an AR, but it's actually a shotgun. It's an AR version of a shotgun. Um, so we'll start from the end of the barrel down here. I just added a little barrel clamp with a little Picatinny rail and a green flashlight. Just push it, then you can slide it like that to zoom in, zoom out. It's a pretty good light. Um, I've got the laser up top here with the little trigger uh, thumb thing. Push the little button and turn the laser on. I've got it mounted to the uh, pistol grip right here. I bought one of these little red dot sights for close quarters stuff. Got the little flip top. Um, let me see here. Yeah, got the little, you know, flip top caps there and just, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. You can turn it on. It can be a red dot or a green dot. Close quarters stuff. It doesn't zoom or anything. You know, it's just regular what you see. I've got a little foregrip, a little vertical grip here that I mounted on the front. And then of course I mounted this bipod. It's a six to nine inch. Everything I got, I got on Amazon, by the way. There's a little six to nine inch bipod. You just push the legs up like so. It's pretty cool. Just folds up like that. It's got a little, this thing's got a little heft to it. It's got some weight on it. Um, it's got, I took the choke that was inside the barrel off and I put this uh, little barrel mounted choke on it. So it's pretty cool. It makes it look a little better. You know, it looks pretty tough, but uh, it's a pretty cool little shotgun. Um, something else, it comes with these, it comes with two five round mags, but you can order from a website, you can order from JTS. I think TAC 47 is the one that sells them, 10 round mags, and I bought two of these, they're like 30 bucks a piece. So just slap those bad boys in there. Now you got, now you got 10 rounds. Um, but yeah, so. Um, so basically, it's just like a regular AR. Rack it back, push the little lever here on the side, to, you're ready to rock and roll. And this thing's got some heft to it. I mean, if somebody sees you coming with this bad boy, they're definitely gonna run the other direction. But um, what I'm gonna do is, I wanted to put a collapsible stock on it and I found out, I called TAC 47 and spoke to someone and they said you basically have to have this long 10 inch barrel, or uh, I'm sorry, 10 inch uh, buffer tube, around a 10 inch buffer tube on it that it, you can't go any shorter. So if you put a collapsible stock on it, you're gonna end up making it longer. But I just don't like this stock. I don't like the way it looks. It just looks like it's kind of funny looking. You can see that it's kind of a funny looking stock they put on here. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the gun in this vise and I'm gonna take the buffer tube and the nut and everything off and I'm gonna add this stock that I bought online. It is a collapsible stock, but I'm gonna add this stock to it, make it look a little better. And also be able to collapse, you know, extend it out a little bit if I had it mounted, say, on the bipod and I was sitting back, you know, shooting long distance. I'd be able to, you know, extend that stock a little bit, get a little farther away from the gun. But uh, I'll do a little close up view here of me operating the bipod. You just uh, push this little lever here, they go up, slap them into place push it, they pop back out on their own, and then you pull it to extend all the way to nine. Actually pretty cool, I think this was about 20 bucks, it might have been 30. Um, but yeah, you just lock them up into place like so, they go from six to nine, and then just let it go up. I originally had my flashlight mounted here, but I wanted to have the bipod on it, in case I ever wanted to set it down and shoot it, so I put the flashlight on the barrel. Um, but you know, it's cool. You know, there's me, uh, laser, beep. You know, pretty nifty stuff. So you can see that's where I've got the little trigger thing mounted there. But I wanted to also do a close up, show you the clips here. So just a little slap right into place. 10 rounds. I mean, how awesome is that? And then just, and it's ready to rock and roll. Boom. So. So there she is.
So you can see there, I've got the little uh, pressure lever here mounted on the thumb side. So I had it mounted on the palm side, but I didn't really like it. So basically just hold it like this. And anytime you wanna turn that laser on, just barely push with your, and I'm like, look at this thing. Let me tell you something. This laser can be seen for a couple of hundred yards. This is a very good laser. I mean, I just can't get over it. And then of course, you know, you've got the little, these things here with the flip top. It's just a, and if I turn the laser on, you'll probably be able to see that through there. Yep, there we go. So that's pretty nifty. Um, there's the vert vertical grip, like I said. You had, I had to add the uh, Picatinny rails to be able to add any of this stuff, but um, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, Four hundred ninety-nine bones, you know, for a shotgun, semi-automatic shotgun. Flashlight again, boom, boom. Choke. It's pretty awesome, though. I don't mind saying. And that was a quick look at the JTS M12 AR that I purchased at Academy Sports. You can buy it online through JTS. I think TAC47 are the people that ship it. You can get all of the accessories that I have on mine through Amazon.com. My next video is going to be me changing out that butt stock and adding that four position stock over top of the factory buffer tube. I'm going to have to drill out some holes in the buffer tube to be able to do it and hopefully it works out. But if you want, you can look up Chomp McDee's and things and watch that video as well. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me.